Who did you get the most resistance from when it comes to deliverance? That's an interesting question. I was just talking to my wife uh, in the bed last night before we went to sleep. I said, it's, it's interesting to me that now that the movie's out, my greatest critics, y'all's greatest critics, mm -hmm. the greatest critics of deliverance ministry, the ministry of Jesus, and especially this movie, come out in Jesus' name, it's not been witches, now they hate it, right? It's not been witches, Satanists, LGBT, or atheists. It's been Calvinists. It's been the reform community. They are the most critically biased, demeaning people on the planet right now about this movie, the, the reform crowd. And I, I find that interesting. But look, I say, you know, to that demonic doctrine of Calvinism, come out in Jesus' name, right? I've got some reform friends, but they have been the most scathing of anybody. They've been worse than the witches. They've been worse than the than the gay community. And that's that's sad to have to say that because Look, I mean, they're calling us false brethren, false prophets, mm -hmm. you know, fake shepherds, the whole deal. And I'm like, you realize this is the ministry of Jesus? You realize mm -hmm. this is a third of what Jesus did? Mm -hmm. And all we're doing is being like Jesus. So stop wearing shirts that ask the question, what would Jesus do? And read a Bible and start doing what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Because what Jesus did was cast out evil spirits. There is nothing more gospel central than seeing people set free. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why they don't get it. And I know that's a that's a hard way to answer that, but really the reform community and and some Baptists, we've brought mm -hmm. a lot of Baptists over, right? Mm -hmm. But the reform community has been just absolutely inviscerating us about that's this. That's crazy. That's actually very, very <laughs> interesting. I've met quite a few people in Texas and other places, even start people started to come to our church now because when they saw me at your deliverance conference yes. and they would follow you, uh, before your church got into deliverance and then they came on board with deliverance and so a lot of them were very receptive and very open but I do agree that a lot of the reformed, yeah. there are some reformed people who believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit and for them it's easier yeah. to swallow the manifestation of the Holy Spirit and I think that people are so ignorant nowadays especially who reject the ministry of deliverance because the culture is so demonized. Mm. I mean maybe 50 years ago in the United States when there was still prayer in schools, when a marriage yeah. was between a man and a woman, when abortion was unthinkable and abortion was actually murdering a baby instead of a woman's choice, I could see where uh, resistance and hesitancy toward the supernatural where that could find its um, you know place in the United States yeah. but today I'm thinking like how could you reject <laughs> what is happening in our culture I mean Disney is propagating demonization yes. every art music is literally repackaging witchcraft so that it's more it's easier to swallow for our generation almost every other person yeah. that comes to church has practiced witchcraft or is currently yeah. practicing some sort of witchcraft and to just put a cross on that and to pretend that just because we gotten saved prayed the sinner's prayer were born again and now all the demons all the curses yeah. have disappeared i just think that it's such an ignorance even if those people yeah. have more degrees than a thermometer it still doesn't yeah. change the fact that the reality of the Jesus' ministry and the reality right in front of us, people are suffering and people are hurting. I know that in the last year your church has done mass deliverances every single Sunday night, but every service deliverances take place. What are some of the sharp testimonies that come to your mind that you would say, I am so glad that I started to do deliverance, not only because the Bible teaches us so, not only because of that incident that happened in a baptistry, but what are some of the fruit of deliverance that you've seen that you can share? Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't understand that they've been praying for a healing perhaps for a long time that they're never going to get because some people don't need healing. They need deliverance from a spirit of infirmity so they can be healed. And so we are literally seeing stage four cancer leave people. And I mean, they're getting medically cleared. People are getting out of wheelchairs. We have seen, you know, everybody went crazy when I made my, you know, my autism statement. And look, not everything's a demon. We get it. But tell that to the parents that have brought nonverbal children to our tent and gone home and can't stop talking. And we're watching people walk. We're watching people talk. We're watching lives be transformed. We're seeing the rewiring of brains on a regular basis. We just had week number 57, right? We're, we're not doing mass deliverance every month or every year. We're doing it every single Sunday night. And you would think, Pastor, that you know the crowds would stop. They're getting bigger every Sunday night. They just keep growing. People are coming to our church for one service. They don't even come there for Wednesday. Some of them aren't even there Sunday morning. They will go to their church Sunday morning, catch a flight or drive halfway across the country just to make our six o'clock mass deliverance service. And we get in there and we go deep. We worship, 
sing songs of deliverance. And I mean, you know, I had 30 minutes in the movie theater. We got two hours on Sunday night, and that's just really getting going good. We dig deep. We break off curses. We renounce. And I mean, we repent. And that's the essence of deliverance mm -hmm. ministry. Submit to God, resist the devil, and the result is he will flee from you. And we mm -hmm. do that, and we, we dig deep. We do what the, the, the generals of deliverance ministry used to call, you know, Bob Larson coming up by the roots. We get them up by the roots. Mm -hmm. And so we take a long time and people are showing up. Healings are happening. And look, and let me say this, you can understand this from a more charismatic spectrum, but coming from a guy that was nothing but B-A-P-T-I-S-E Baptist, right? All I ever heard was, you know, the gifts of the spirit, baptism of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. People think that's crazy and hokey, but I'll tell you what deliverance did for me. I never even understood the concept of the baptism of the Holy Spirit until I went through deliverance. The very night I went through deliverance, the man, Henry Schaefer, that was in the movie, laid hands on me, and immediately I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of praying in the Spirit. And I had never done that, never tried to fake it till I make it, nothing. And none of that happened until that religious bondage came up and out of me. Oh, wow. And so, so I'm so telling you. After, so you received deliverance when uh, when Pastor Henry, he prayed for you. Yep. And when you were yeah, experienced... We brought him in to go recording in progress. to deliver. Yep. Uh -huh. And then after that, that's when you actually experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit. First time ever. Man. <laughs> Through after deliverance. I had to get deliverance because I had been taught against it. Mm -hmm. And so I had to get that demonic doctrine. I had to get that religious spirit up and out of me. And when I did, it was that simple. And now one of the greatest things I do every day of my life is pray in the spirit. And I love that's, it. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. That's crazy. And you actually mentioned that in the, in the trailer that one of the biggest yep. demons that people yep. are facing is the spirit of religion. And you guys, I mean, yes. here's a testimony. Greg went through that deliverance himself. And right after that, he received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes that spirit, religious spirit, is hindering us from the ability to receive yes. everything that God has for us. 